On a serious note, there's some new fallout after a 60 Minutes piece reveals that how lawmakers are profiting by using campaign committees as their own personal slush funds. Here's Steve Croft questioning one of the California Congresswoman Grace Napolitano's um, points. You loan money to your campaign and then charge the campaign 18% interest? That's correct. Interest. To be able to do a lot of the things that I had to do was, were not feasible unless I did what I had to do. And so at that point, that was what was recommended, and that's what I went with. I don't think there's anything wrong with loaning your campaign money. But then collecting 18% interest from your campaign that's seems what I'm charged a little... Would you go out and get a loan and not get charged interest? It's still 18% and $228,000 like in interest. You like the favor 18%. What I do it? like the favor. What, what, what I mean, is, that's what the what? mafia gets. Melanie Sloan, executive director of Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington. Her group helped 60 Minutes with that research, and they found at least 15 cases where politicians were making loans to their campaign funds. And she joins us now. Thank you for joining us. Oh, my pleasure. All right, so Congresswoman Napolitano, we just heard her speaking there. She made $228,000 over a 12-year period by charging this 18% interest was what she did illegal or legal? No, it was perfectly legal. That's, that's actually what the scandal is. Uh, the Federal Election Commission allows members of Congress to loan themselves uh, money to their campaign committees and says they can pay themselves a, a fair market rate, but that rate hasn't been challenged in any time, and so she could charge 18% interest. And I just want to say she's not alone. We found other members of Congress, Paul Brown, Republican of Georgia, for example, who also made very strange loans, uh, personal loans to his campaign and took in a lot of interest back. So you can find this on both sides of the aisle. So, Melanie, see, people sitting at home right now, they're thinking, how can this be legal and what can be done to stop it? Well, this is just one of the many problems that we, we've got here, but what one of the main things that we need to see happen is a reinvigorated Federal Election Commission. That agency has been a total failure and has failed to regulate any kind of campaign spending. And if we had commissioners who were in there really enforcing the law, we might see members of Congress behaving themselves a little better. You know, some other things that you discovered, uh, Senator Saxby Chambliss from Georgia spent more than $100,000 entertaining at world-class golf courses. Uh, Representative uh, Gregory Meeks from New York, he spent $35,000 on NFL games. Anything else that stood out to you? Well, there are so many. Members of Congress routinely will use their campaign committee funds to uh, host lavish events at premier golf clubs and sporting events and musical events. Another thing people really need to be aware of that they don't know about is something called leadership PACs, political action committees that are really entirely unregulated, that have become nothing more than slush funds, which members can dip into to spend on absolutely whatever they want. And in theory, though, the bottom line, what are these, you know, PACs, these political action committees originally intended for? Well, leadership PACs were originally intended to allow members of Congress who had taken in a lot of money to help give some of it to their colleagues in leadership races so that they could obtain a committee chairman when they, chairmanship when they needed their votes. And so that's what it sort of started as in the, in the late 70s. But what we've seen recently is leadership PACs are, are literally nothing more than slush funds. And if you go through leadership PAC spending, you'll find the Four Seasons, the Ritz-Carlton, you know, resorts in Puerto Rico, Boca Raton. It's always members using it for incredibly lavish events. Uh, Rob Andrews, who was featured in the 60 Minutes report, used leadership PAC funds to take his family on a trip to Scotland. Yes, yeah, $16,000 he spent on that trip, according to your report. Yes, well, exactly. Well, Melanie, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. And hopefully, you know, um, there'll be some checks and balances that go into this. Thank you. We'd like to see that. Thanks.